Welcome, this is Hearts, and today I have something special. Alien Isolation, a highly anticipated game, is now out, and I've got it, and I haven't tried it yet, we're going to play it. First off, little skeptical of the uh, detail sort of settings here. It's... I have it on Ultra, and uh... Yeah. I don't know if my computer will run that and do fraps at the same time. We'll try and see. You can always play it. All right. Let's start this up. Medium for challenge. Oh. Well, I know how things are always darker on YouTube, so we're going to put that there. I gotta tell you, I'm excited about this. It's a funny thing, you know, Sega, that's not... Those aren't the guys I would uh, think would make such a high-quality game. Final nothing, report of the commercial Starship Nostromo. Nothing wrong about Sega. Third officer reporting. The Just other saying. members of the crew. Kane. Lambert. Parker. Brett. And Captain Dallas are dead. Oh, well. Cargo and ship destroyed. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. This is Ripley. Hmm. Last survivor of the Nostromo. Signing off. So this takes place after the first Alien movie, right? From uh, 79, I believe? And I've looked at videos online on this game, of course. What I've enjoyed so far is the uh, retro futuristic uh, appearance of it all. You know, in the age of VHS. Ripley? How they imagined the future. That's just awesome. I'm Samuels. I work for the company. It's about your mother. We think we may have found her, Amanda. A commercial vessel, the Anisadora, has recovered what we believe to be the flight recorder unit of the Nostromo. Where? Zeta Reticula. Boy, that's far. What did it tell you? We don't know. The unit was taken to Sevastopol Station. It's proprietorial material, so the company wants it to be collected as soon as possible. Sevastopol's a supply depot in the region. It's a, a permanent freeport. I know center. what it is. Transit's arranged. There's a courier ship called the Torrens heading out that way in two days. We're going to travel out. We? Oui. Me and another exec. And you, if you're willing. So this is Ripley's daughter. Look, Ripley, when this job came across my desk, I read the case history. I know why you're working in the region where she went missing. Or what? You're still looking, aren't you? I've been mm. cleared to offer you a place on the Torrance if Let's you see. want to come along. What happened? Uh, Ripley slept for 50 Maybe or 60 years? There'll be some Meanwhile, her for you. daughter died. Right? That's how I remember the story. Last time I checked. I might be wrong, though. Oh, 
Ooh. Oh, that's nice. Can I see my legs? Oh. <laughs> ah, I'm pretty. A punch card slot, huh? Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's really stylish, man. Oh, I'm liking this already. Huh. It's actually running really smoothly at 60 frames per second. That's good. Verlaine, you're on the lookout for a navigational officer? I have a friend that's just lost his ship and he's looking for work. I can vouch for him. He's got good papers. Same old story, the megacorps undercut him, pick, uh, picked off all his clients. Contracts are getting harder to come by for the smaller companies. And I'm thinking of getting out myself while I still have something to sell. Sounds like you're doing okay though. Dropped by the docks and heard you just shipped out. Sevastopol Station, what a shithole. Still, I hear Wayland to Utani pay well. Good luck to you if you can't beat them, right? Let's catch you when you get back. Blame. Okay. Go back. Uh, what do they call these computers with um, green text terminal monitors? I don't remember. They're pretty common back in the day. Let me just... Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I know this is a shower. I've seen a few videos. There we go. Oh, that's nice. Mm. That's enough of that. You can stop now. Don't want to waste water on a space station. It's just moronic. We couldn't walk around naked forever. Just in my dreams. This is all very nice. like a suit like that. It actually looks kind of Roman, wouldn't you say? I mean, look at those shoulder things and, and the camera on top there. It could almost be a, a broom, if you know what I mean. It's a bit of hair sticking out of the helmet. Uh, well, let's see what's on the menu for today. Ah, Ripley. Samuels, did you wake up early? Well, I don't really need as much sleep as the rest of you. I was just inspecting the Torrens Douche facilities, bag. a well-maintained ship. I realize it's a very similar model to... The Nostromo. Yes, M-Class. A later pattern, but close in spec. I've worked engineering jobs on ships like this. Of course. Is Taylor up yet? She's not a season. Let's get right down to brass tacks here. What's the menu? What's for dinner? Haven't seen her. I'll go check on her.
Well, seems I'm going this way. Oh. Boy, games are getting pretty, aren't they? Okay, so somebody knows I'm here. Uh -huh. Oh, you look depressed. Taylor, good morning. Ripley, it's certainly not good. I very much doubt it's morning either. Didn't get any food either, huh? Sorry. What's that? I feel like death. I don't know how you people put up with hypersleep regularly. You get used to it. I don't do long haul. Very you just need to be drunk. That's a secret, really. Most legal execs don't travel further than the coffee machine. I'm surprised Raylan Yutani felt the need to send legal at all. The loss of the Nostromo and its cargo cost the company a lot of money. Mm -hmm. It's important we find out what happened. If I can close the case with a conclusive accident report, it'll look Says, great with my ketchup. superiors. Yeah, you should know something about me. I don't care about the company's so money. Sensitive. Realize your mother has been missing for 15 mm. years and you... It's okay. We'll both get what we want, right? Uh, <sighs> I guess I'll have to eat have that. Have you seen Samuels? He's probably been up for hours. Just spoke to Samuels, didn't I? All personnel to the bridge. Approaching Sebastopol Station. <sighs> I'll have to wait then. Okay, whatever. Hey, are you Samuels? Fine. Don't answer. Rude. Wait, uh, I've been here, haven't I? Somebody's stopped working early. It's not finished over there. Right. Well, that looks like something from the seventies. What is that? The Bible? Oh, naval cookbook. Well, you know, same thing, really. Up here, I'm sure. I'd be kind of worried if I saw a Bible here, you know? It's like, yeah, people think they need it for something. Praying is something you do if Hope you're you about to die. Journey. The Torrens is in very good order for an old M-Class captain. She was a wreck when I bought her. Took a few years and a lot of contracts to refit. Looks like you're a wreck now. too. You said we're approaching Sebastopol Station. Are we docking? I believe your contact is Marshal Waits, is that right? I'll hail Sebastopol and arrange boarding with him. Good. Let's get this done. Don't worry, Miss Taylor. Routine. In and out. Connor, how we doing? RCMG loaded and calibrated. Approach vector locked. Prep comms so I can say hello. Channel open, Captain. Does everyone have their briefing? <coughs> you can Hello. watch the approach on the monitors. Wow, those chairs are pretty luxurious, huh? Black and white screens. This really is the 80s, isn't it? Or, you know, the 80s vision of a future. Whoa. This is... something. Eternal space. Oh, yeah. That planet. Hey! file <coughs> Can we see it? Yes. Switch to monitors. Use your eyes. Sevastopol station. Is that damage? It looks like damage. Punch up 74, tight angle. Looks like the dry dock bay is screwed. 
I can't bring the Torrens into that. This is a commercial vessel Torrens out of St. Clair, registration number MSV7760, calling Sebastopol Traffic Control. We're carrying three passengers on a whale and Utani Bond. You're holding the Nostromo flight recorder unit. We request immediate permission to transfer. Boy, even in space there's over. bureaucracy. Landing procedures. Gotta admit that doesn't sound too good. Marshall, this is the Torrin. Say again. Fuck. The station's comm seem pretty screwed up, so I fitted Samuel's suit with a radio booster. I can only keep the Torrens in transit for 24 hours. You'll have heard from us by then. Safe trip. I hope so. Stand by. My contract doesn't cover bloody spacewalks. It's the only option. And it's perfectly safe if you do what I tell you. Notice the film grain here in the dark? Depressurizer. Pretty unusual for a game. This. Just shout on me, Taylor. You too, Samuels. Affirmative. Shit. Fuck happened here? My God, Ripley. You're doing good, Tim. Fuck me. Just keep moving. <laughs> Things have gone bad early, man. Samuels! Taylor! Respond! Anybody! Shit. Nothing but debris. <laughs> Seeing that airlock open without a sound kind of has a Space Odyssey 2001 feel. You know? I mean, that was the first space movie that opened people's eyes to the fact that in space there are no sounds. Ever since then, you know, annoying people have been stating it on YouTube videos, but it's still a fact. This looks like trouble. Trouble now. Fucking trouble. Oh good. Whoa. If I need help, uh, certainly. Okay, you know what? I think uh, we are going to say that's that for this episode and if you want more if you want to see more of this game um, you can watch episode two so thank you very much for watching this is uh, hearts and uh, leave a like or a comment whatever and uh, I'll see you next time <laughs>